Hello lovely Summer it's Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are doing another speed build for my save file and this one is a little cool so I've been excited to do this house and this family for a while now because I've had the, these worlds planned for probably a couple months now and you will see the create a sim for this family either tomorrow or Saturday. It will be an extra video this week but basically this is the quote newlywed unquote home. So this is a suburban home that's very planned, very staged, very perfect. And the family that lives here is also very planned, very perfect, and very staged. And it's basically as though someone took a movie like the Stepford Wives and took one of the couples from there and placed it into this home. And of course, Nancy's all about this. Nancy's like, oh my god, yes, I have a friend. I'm gonna have this lovely lady to help me run all my meetings. And Zara Propes, the realtor, is like, this is a lovely couple. They're gonna really up the town image. But then things start to get a little fishy, you know? Their stories don't quite add up. One of them says that they met on this day, another one says they met on this day, one of them says their wedding anniversary is uh, is one day, and another says it's in a completely different month. And when you go over to their home, it's very, very secretive, it's very much like, well, all the windows are drawn, um, none of, you can't go into any room where they're not with you, and it's a little, it's a little sus, and people start to get a little a little concerned about this family and then they start to question things because it's a newlywed couple they have no children and yet they moved into this two bedroom three bathroom large modern mediterranean style practical practically mansion because this thing is quite large and they do, they haven't really said where their money has come from and they haven't really said anything about where they're from and so people start to get just a little concerned a little suspicious about who their neighbors actually are and i'll start talking about who they actually are when we get to the inside of the build because it'll make a little bit more sense but right now i wanted to say that i do cut out quite a bit of the exterior for this home so there's a lot of detail work as you can see i used these jungle adventure uh, wall stones on the edges of all the houses or all the, the edges of all the walls So I did cut that out of the video because it just took way too long and then I also used those uh, Get together spandrel thingies. I don't actually think they're called spandrels corbels That's what they're called corbels to line underneath all of the roofs So obviously that also took quite a bit of time So I did cut those two things out of the video because my camera was moving around in a whole bunch of circles and when it sped up it just it just didn't look very pretty, so I decided to take that out, but right now we're finishing decorating the exterior, so I did decide to give the home a driveway. Initially, I wasn't going to, but I felt like the front of the lot was just very empty. I didn't know what it was. There, had, they were, there was like this pathway at the front that led to the front door, but then besides that, it was empty, and with the fact that this family is very perfect, very clean, very... Um, perfectly splendid uh but they i thought that this home really needed everything that the a perfect suburban home would have and you'll see that a lot on the interior and also when we move around to the back and it's just anything like if you think cookie cutter family home this home has it and there is a purpose to that and like i said i'll finish the storytelling when we get to the inside but right now we're just doing all the landscaping and it's very polished very clean it's the same plants that are around the exterior of the world the exterior of the lot plus a couple of high hedges and everything that i thought they probably had planted to give themselves a little bit more privacy you know they also have this very large wall at the back of their home which i do end up changing because i needed a different color but it's still a very high wall they have a lot of windows, but some of the windows you can see are the snowy escape ones that actually have the closed off panels so you can't see through the windows. And then those that aren't closed off panels, all of them end up with shades on top of them. So it's a very, even though it's a very open, it's still a very closed off home. And then now we're decorating the backyard. So it's very, as I said for the front of the house, very cookie cutter. They have the outdoor dining table, they have the outdoor grill, they have their pool with their loungers, and then they have a little garden area because of course she has to garden, the wife has to garden. And now we're moving on to the interior. And you'll kind of notice there's a particular theme with the 
not really clutter because it's not very cluttered, but the decorations of the interior, and that is perfectly placed. So everything, none, nothing is like taken off the table where I've like used the the alt key to like free place things or anything like that. Everything is per like placed on a spot. If it didn't have a spot, it didn't go on the table or anything like that because they're very. The home is staged, and no one knows about this family. As I said at the beginning of the video, no one knows what's going on. They're all starting to get a little bit suspicious, so they're trying to kind of fix that, so they're starting to have people over, but that just makes it worse. And this family is actually spies, and they're undercover in Oasis Springs trying to figure out the crime syndicate that Nancy Landgrab is running. So they're working with the, well, the police officers don't know that they're working with them, but the police chief does. And they're undercover spies and they're trying to solve the mystery of the crime syndicate because the police officer is very concerned for their town. You know, she has kids who are growing up here. Things are starting to get a little awry and she called in the local FBI for some help. So they sent over these two spies and they paid for this home. That's where the money came from. And they decorated it and they made it a like cookie cutter suburban home. And they put these two people in here to help out the local law enforcement try and snuff out who is the leader of the crime syndicate. And the crime syndicate does go beyond Oasis Springs, so you'll see that particularly in Willow Creek. Um, I do have a couple of other people who are a part of the crime syndicate. So this newlywed couple goes on a lot of vacations because they're doing a lot of investigating. They're always out about on the town trying to, you know, figure some things out. I think the wife is going to try and get close to Nancy, not because she suspects Nancy, but because she wants, because she wants Nancy's knowledge because Nancy is like the head of the town. She's the, the popular wife of the, of the neighborhood committee. So I think she wants to try and get close to her. So that way she can kind of try and figure out what's going on, but little does she know she's actually becoming friends with the crime syndicate leader. And I think that that could cause a little bit of issue because I think Nancy might be a bit suspicious, and so she might keep her on a little bit of a leash, and maybe the... Um, quote, the newlywed spy gets a little suspicious herself on why Nancy isn't really being all that friendly with her, or maybe Nancy tries to recruit her and then the spy is like, oh my god, or maybe the spy becomes a double spy. That's part of the reason why I was so excited to put this family in this save file, because I'm not going to finish this story, you guys are, so if you do end up playing with my save file, please let me know if you end up playing with these townies in particular, because I would love to know what you end up having happen. And expect also with the husband, like, will the husband leave his wife if she joins the crime syndicate? Will they stay together? They're not technically together together, so when you go into their household, they won't have a romantic relationship, but will you guys develop that romantic relationship because they're going to be working on this for a very long time? I'd be very intrigued to know what you guys think. I think if I ever played with this family, I would probably have them fall in love because I'm a sucker for a love story. And then she would join the crime syndicate with Nancy because she realizes or she thinks that that's a better way to go. And then he kind of tries to bring her back to the light side or something like that. That's probably how I would play with it, but I'd be intrigued to know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to play with this family, what your ideas are for this family. But yeah, now we're decorating some of the interior. I pretty much talked over the majority of the beginning of the interior, but it's all very basic stuff. You know, there's a plant here in the corner where there should be a plant. There's a picture here on the wall where the picture looks like it's necessary. And then in here is the laundry room because even though not all of the homes in my save file so far, so far have had laundry, since this is the perfect family home, it needed to have the laundry. It also suspiciously has a dog collar rack, even though they don't have a dog. And they always say that that's because they're gonna get ready to have one, even though they never buy any more supplies or never end up with a dog. 
So that's a little bit of a neighborhood concern as well because there isn't a lot of dogs in this neighborhood so I think that they might even be trying to convince them not to get a dog and the family's just like oh no we've blown our cover and so then the FBI gets involved and they start like coming in and getting rid of all the dog stuff that they placed in the home because they thought it was a good idea but it wasn't. I think that might also be a little bit of fun. Obviously there is no actual FBI here in The Sims but you can always pretend you can have someone come by from another world or like maybe one of your sims is the FBI director so they come by and they you know steal things from this per this ho home because obviously people can steal things from other sims it's a thing i've been having an issue with it in my let's play so obviously it's possible and then over here we are just doing a decorative picture corner because why not it made sense for the space and I thought that it was pr pretty much the most basic obvious thing to put there and then over here is the bedroom I don't want to say that this is my favorite room of the house because there really isn't anything to it but it's just so pretty and this eco lifestyle bed I almost didn't use it because I thought it looked a little you know rustic for this kind of a style but it looked so good in this lighting and with the pink on the walls that I was really just like no 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 I have to use this color I have to use this bed and in like if you zoom in on the screenshots you can really see the wicker detail from the lighting from the windows and I just I was so in love that's my it's my favorite room specifically because of how beautiful it looked in the screenshots and now we're going on to the secret well, we will be going on to the secret hidden office. So whenever anyone's at their home, this door is obviously always locked and they never let anybody in and all the windows are covered, even the door, which is, you know, you can see it from the outside. So their neighbors do get a little concerned, but they always just say that they're working on some secret stuff for their jobs. And this is basically where they do all of their you know, spy work. They have their satellites and their database computers and stuff like that. And I, I do end up building a kind of like a, a nook by the front door. That's kind of like a, if case they walked into the door, like into the office, there would be this for show office in the front that has a bookshelf and a small desk so that they could pretend that this is just what's inside this house even though obviously the room is so much bigger on the outside but besides that that is it for this build so i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye